I just had an interesting interaction here. I've been debating whether or not to record it. Cause I didn't know if it was a big deal or not. But obviously, it's on my mind. I I'm, can't stop thinking about it, so I want to record it. <clears throat> so I went to the gas station here. It's early. I'm trying to finish up this paper uh, for Brian. Get it to him before 9 a.m. Uh, I told him I'll get it to him today. So I woke up here about 5 and been working on it to try to get it to him. And um, went to the gas station and saw this fellow right on the way out. Um, saw him on the way in as well. Um, but anyhow, he tried to sell me some Jordans, some new Michael Jordan shoes. Right? And he was like, hey man, he was like, hey, I got these Jordans. I was like, oh, sweet, dude. <laughs> and he was like, hey, he's like, you want to help me out? You know, you know, this and that. And he, I was like, I don't think so, man. I don't need, I don't need those, dude. <laughs> and he's like, come on, you know, help me out. This and these are hundred twenty dollars shoes. I'm like, dude, I, you seem to be good to go if you got those brand new shoes. That I don't, I don't know what you want me to do for you. You know, he's like, what, what do you, you know, I'm and I'm laughing, right? And he's seeing me laughing at him, not laughing at him, laughing with him, right? Because I don't want those shoes, and I don't have any money either. So it's just funny to me. The whole situation is funny. So, um, so he sees that I can see through his, his ploy here and I can just laugh through it. Right. And he's totally disarmed. Um, and so he's like, he's like, okay. As soon as I'm like, dude, I don't have any money for you, man. Um, and I said it like that, you know, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have any money for you. And he's like, all right, that's okay. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and, I, and we're laughing together. Then he looks at me and he's like, D you see me, don't you? I was like, of course I see you, man. And I just smiled at him because I did see him. And I and when he said that, I knew what he meant, like in the Avatar sense, right? And like in that movie Avatar, when they say, I see you. Like in the movie Avatar, they say, I see you. And that means like, I recognize your soul's existence or something like that. It means something much different than when we say, I see you, right? When they say, I see you in the Avatar world, they're like, I see you, like, I really, like, into your, like, through your eyes, I see you, into whatever's in there, right? And when he said, when he looked at me in the eyes and he said, you see me, don't you? And I, without hesitation, I said, yes, of course. And both of us at that moment recognize like God in each other in a certain way right in that universal essence of all things and we looked at each other and we said you are that thing that powers the universe both of us are and we see that and we see that we're on our own journeys and here we're having interaction together and we're laughing about it because you're trying to sell me some Jordans I most certainly do not need right and you're trying to be about your day and I'm trying to be about mine and here we are meeting and laughing together over a failed scheme on your part, right? And that's why it was so interesting and comical to both of us. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all just making sense in the universe, right? He's making sense of it, trying to sell his Jordans, trying to get some money to take care of whoever he wants to take care of. And I'm trying to take care of Brian, take care of my team over here, trying to finish my paper up. <laughs> and we're just going about our thing and, and, and meeting, right? Seeing, he's seeing if I got anything extra. I don't have anything extra. I saw if he had anything extra, I needed a lighter. He didn't have anything extra. He went about his day. And he said, and he, do, do, why I remember this interaction so much is because when he asked me, do you see me? And I happy go luckily said, of course. That enriched his soul. He became human again, right? Because these, these guys that are homeless or that are, don't have very much money and they run around and they ask people for money, people do not treat them as humans, right? And even I, at the same time, have a hard time because I don't have money to give these guys, so I feel bad and I avoid them and this and that, right? And so people do not acknowledge their existence truly. And that's, and that's sad to them because they want to be acknowledged as humans because they still are, of course, humans. They're just in need. They, don't, they have a deficit in terms of the finances right now. And, um, and they're seeing if anybody has a surplus, right? But there's not an effective way to do that in today's society, unfortunately. But, um, 
but when people do acknowledge them, they, they feel human again, right? And that, that's good for them uh, because they are human, of course, right? And they, in order to rise up, they need to understand that we all care about them and we all want them to succeed when you acknowledge their existence like that, like the godliness in them, that essence that's the same as you, you're no different than them, then that does something in their soul. It completes them in some way. It's an affirmation of their existence, of the existence of God in them, of the existence of the same thing that makes you tick makes them tick. The same thing that we don't quite understand. That some people call God and others call whatever they call it. It doesn't matter. It's the same. Regardless of what you call it, it is the same. And we can we know that, right? The same thing that powers life for you is the same thing that powers life for me. So, and we recognize that thing in each other, and that's what made us both so happy and laugh. It was a very, very positive interaction. I thought about it and smiled the entire way home, and I'm sure he's doing the same right now, reflecting on it. About that little happy-go-lucky kid he met at the gas station that he could not sell those Jordans to, but that he chuckled with anyways, and had a good start to the day. As the sun rose, and we laughed together and acknowledged each other's existence, just through a pair of Air Jordans. <laughs>